Howdy y'all, it's your host Road. Welcome back to Love It Games. Today we're playing a little bit of Life is Strange Remastered. We're on episode 3, Chaos Theory. So we're going to continue on the story. But if you could, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. It is a uh, beautiful 5.26 a.m. and we're going to see what we get into. Listen. When I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. Always lock your door. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Look. Careful, Max. Cujo ahead. Open. Locked. Oh, Dad messaged you. Dad never messages you. There has to be food for you somewhere. Look at Chloe. I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. Sometimes you just gotta keep running. <laughs> Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? You don't think it could be like climate change or something? I'm a fisherman, no scientist. I know the sea is warming, but this is something new. Maybe worse. What do you mean? worse if you knew what was going on with the fish around arcadia bay sorry i'm just too salty to talk about it see you around kid let's rewind good morning how are the fish today don't ask first the snow then an eclipse what's next the tornado I heard that fish. something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, it's too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. So, no fish. That would be cool to be a trucker for a while. Always on the road. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of goddamn Arcadia Bay. The whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, that slut suicide. Listen, Kate Marsh was not a slut. She was severely depressed for good reasons. You didn't even know her, did you? I know all these Blackwell spoiled shit. But that other loser I'd see around here, Rachel. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, 
Why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. What a dick. Hey, how's it going? Peachy, interview over. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel? She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what's. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. Yes, another great day in Arcadia Bay. Soda? So ominous. It is ominous. Look at that. It's so sad and disturbing and beautiful at once. What an amazing shot. Oh, hey, it's that uh, one person. <laughs> I hate seeing old women on the street like that. <sighs> nice world. Hi, how are you? I remember you. I heard about that girl killing herself at Blackwell. Mm, awful thing. It's been a sad week at Blackwell. It's a sad world, Max. But you're so damn young. Oh, if I could go back and be your age again. I truly wish I could help you. You did the last time you talked to me. Now you look like you could do with help of your own. Just to find some answers. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me. So I see everybody. And everything. Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit just has a <laughs> bad aura, as we used to say. He also drugged the girl who jumped. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. Yeah, tell the I truth. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. Trashy. All right, nothing back here. Good Lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. So there's Frank. Maybe we all did. Kate Marsh, love you long time. You killed Kate. The seventh sign. Kate, look at it. Shit. What are the other signs then?
Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. Let's see anyone else? We got Nathan. Nathan and Frank together? That's a bad combo. Can't drop any tunes right now. Keys. Keys will come after we locate whatever we're looking for. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. I could chug this beer or dump it on Frank. Beer is Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Let's see. Kate I guess Marsh. Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. Such a waste. You're awful. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. What can I do for you, Max? Let's see. Weird town. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. Nathan Prescott. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, <laughs> if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Ah, so... Okay. Stop. Why can't I back out of it? Well. I went too far, and now it's back to Frank. And then, no? What the heck? No, nothing with Nathan. Or the cop. Frank. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards.
How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Um. Next. Prescott. Oh, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. We're gonna take that information and go back a little bit. What's up? Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. See your father. Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care? Hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. We're gonna rewind that. Does not like to do that last little bit. There it goes. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You were so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in a diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. I hate that it, like, does not want to do that one. There it goes. One little bit. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Let's see what else he has. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck uh oh look max amber is that your punk rock girl outfit that was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero jefferson yesterday let's see next rachel and frank frank hooked you and rachel amber up with party supplies nice try rachel partied like a fiend on her own more than me i doubt that like you would know virgin even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. <sighs> All right, so there's even more there. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh, look, Max Amber. 
Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Cop information. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Man, he's such a dick. I don't think he has anything new. What about you, Officer How you Barbara? Doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Let's see, Rachel and Frank, the Prescott deal. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You couldn't bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Maybe we shouldn't leave that there. Alright, so we could spill his drink, spill his plate, speak to him. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? Saved dogs, buy drugs, Chloe's dead. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. <clears throat> All right, spill Frank Frank's keys. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! <laughs> eating those beans. The magic keys to Frank's RV kingdom. I bet we just can't take them. I'm afraid them. I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. <coughs> Q. 
he brought. Now back to Chloe. Let's talk to Frank again. My work here is done here, Frank. Hi, whore. Hope you enjoyed the la the pick. It's your last. Thought you might be ready for the Vortex Club, but after the shit you pulled, it's Jefferson. No fucking way. You're such an emo queen that you didn't want anyone going with him to San Francisco. You're even too much of a pussy to enter the cliche selfies in one of the dumb contests. It's all about Max. Even going to the roof was about showing off, not about saving Kate. I'm going to make sure nobody at Blackwell is fooled by your woe is Max is ready. Let's see what Dad said. Maxine, Pop here, haven't gone in touch sooner. I know you're upset, but your mom and I know you did everything you could to say that girl. Some things just come out or are control. If you want to come back home now and try to relax, maybe go to high school. Go to a high school around here. The doors open wide. Love, Pop. She's supposed to be in college. Why are you saying high school? Thanks, Pop. Real intense. But I'm not ready to come home. Talk later. I think that was a uh, typo. Because Blackwell's supposed to be a college, I thought. Are you shitting me? Are you shitting nope, me? Nope, I don't want to go there. Alyssa, watch out! Quick thinking, Max. Whew. That was close, Alyssa. That's the second time you've saved me, Max. Thanks. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. I saw you try and save my friend Gate on that rope. The only one who did. While people took camera pics. Kate was my friend, too. I would have done anything to save her. Everybody saw that. I'm proud of you for being so brave. You're pretty cool, Max. That's not how I feel today, but thanks. We need to hang out more. Drink some wine. I have to go, but let's talk later, cool? Alyssa seems cool. All right. Where is, oh, there's Chloe. Look. Nice Scooby snack, Chloe. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw. Throw in the parking lot. Get the treat, treat boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. If we throw it in the park or er, the road, I'm sure something bad would happen to that dog. Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. All right, look. You scoop the area. So light. cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. Look. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. They're fun to listen to. 
I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. Zip, nada, nothing. Don't see anything else over here. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. How can somebody live like this? All right. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Huh. Crappy wife out here. It's taken days to download porn. Yuck. Is Frank going to deal online now? She's so vicious on Frank. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. I'm sure there's something in the vent. Ooh, Frank's stash. No more secrets. All right. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Look. Open? I could pry this vent open with the right tool. So you got two vents. Low torch. Knife. This is almost as good as a set of keys. I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You're... Curses. Nothing here. Can I look in there? Oh shit, the knife is broken. I cannot believe he would wear a... My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B, hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was a monstrous bitch and took it out on you and poor Pompadou. There's a lot of weird shit going on with my life. Sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're the one of the best things I have here. And I smile when I think of us together. Let's drive away forever. Love you always. Rachel Amber. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did, and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me, and I thought you'd never chill out. Never seen you act that way. Next time will be your last. I'm a Leo, and we don't look back. We care about you, us, and so maybe we need a break on our routine. All right. Whoa. 
What the heck did I just walk over to? <laughs> It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! <laughs> she threw him on the roof. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes, Kate Marsh killed herself. She's dead. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel better about my fucked up life, get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? William? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes... Even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You're you still here. Hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. I wonder if Frank will ever find those keys. Oh my god, what is happening now? How far back can you rewind? AD and left mouse button. I don't know what to do with this.
I wish this was different. That looks clear. Someday Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. Oh, you're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't expect Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that Who's far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crepes. I'm 18 years and old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Chloe is just so damn happy and carefree. And this is the last time, unless I change it. I love William like he was in my own family. I won't let him die today. I know I've seen those pictures before. Aww. Anything you do, though, has got to... I remember Chloe reading this. Anything you do, screw up their life, though. Joyce loves William so much. What a mess we made. Hello. I remember those cool drawings hey, I did with Chloe. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two. Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. Thanks for our trip to the lighthouse. Love the sketch. Love Chloe. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. My family never took fun. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> He'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. I know they never took that big vacation. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. Boom. That's true. Disconnected. So how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right. Like you're the real cook here. I am when your mom score. Is I'll let her know that. I mean, we disconnected the phone, we hid the keys. Yes, here's the two whales number. Now I can warn Joyce. Hey, honey. I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. All right. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. 
That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare. Oh, yeah. I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. I am. When your mom is away. I'll let her know that. So let's call a diner. Uh, hello. Hi, could I please talk to Joyce Bryce? Oh, she left? Damn. Uh, are you sure? Okay, sorry. Thanks. So she's already left. We can unplug it. Boom. Disconnected. Hey, honey. Man, I remember oh, Chloe know, reading this. But not after today. today. Fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. <laughs> you are ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. It's actually really sad seeing all this because he really needs to die in order for her life to even be somewhat like it was. It yeah, screws up Joyce and David. Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. I knew this thing would come in handy. How the hell did my keys end up here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. So he has a little remote. We need something we can put it in. Remote can't get to. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. Waste so pepper. Don't you dare question the chef. Right. Like Cookie. Cook here. I am Flower I'm pot. Here. I'll let her know that. Maybe in the couch? They may hide it enough. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast. Obvious, but it will have to do. What? That's a cool snow dough. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. If that doesn't work, we're going to see if we can go outside or something. That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. I knew this thing would come in handy. Why so that did not work? Here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Alright. I need 
to hide the keys where William won't hear his dumb beeper. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the... Ah, uh, I didn't get a draw because I went back in time. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> You're really screwing with people's lives when you change time like that. This weird butterfly effect going on. I'm not paying $150 for a concert. I heard that the vortex of parties are wild. Dude, the service fee is like 50%. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Cold every day. Never Maxine. I know, sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. A lot. David Madison's a bus driver. That's why you shouldn't mess with time. So there's Brooke. Can't remember that guy's name. You got a bunch of dead wells now on the beach.
Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! Oh, wow. Well, that was shocking. So we saved William's life, but it put Chloe in a wheelchair. So he left the money, he kissed Chloe, sided with Chloe, he kept Frank's dog from harm, uh, Lisa is alive, Lisa's dead, um, he helped Warren with his exam, he didn't warn Warren, alright. You are not on the vortex. You are not on the vortex club party list. How are we not? I thought we were going to be. You erase some names from the vortex party list. You erase the cops' answer phone message. You help Alyssa. You warned the homeless woman. You didn't take a photo in the past. I didn't know you could take a photo. You didn't leave a mark on the fireplace. Yeah, because I went back in time. It screwed me up. That sucks. I think we're going to call it an episode there. So please like, comment, subscribe. Share the video. And we'll uh, figure out what happened to Chloe in the next episode. So we'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.